Hi friends, welcome back everyone to Anitoda Ken5. This is Prince once again here. So what an expiry today. The first expiry of February month and after the budget, the premiums were very, very high, almost close to 300 and it was very juicy. It was very tempting. So initially when I started off, I thought I'll be making mega profits today because after a long, long time, we had a, a premium from above 250. Uh, usually we used to have 100, 100, 100 plus or minus, but now it is almost 300. Uh, but then market had something else for us. It was very volatile in the first one hour. The premiums were not decaying much. There's a lot of big, big movements happening as well. Right. So all these things we'll see in today's video. We will see that how I took my range, how I did my adjustments, how I took my bias, how I did my adjustments. All those things are available in this video. So stay tuned till end of the program. You'll be getting full updates. And people, those who are watching the video for the first time, don't forget to press the subscribe and also the like button. We'll be getting lots and lots of strategies, psychological lessons, etc. Et okay, friends. So without wasting much time, let us let uh, enter to today's trade and see how we did the uh, positions, how we took the adjustments as well. So in terms of opening, I can say there was nothing much because we had news of Adani, we had budget, all those things. But then the opening was almost flat. There was nothing big movement in the opening. And also after close to 9.30, you can see that uh, Bank Nifty started consolidating very soon. So it was a very temp tempting situation because premiums also are very high and market is also sideways. So then it was the right time to enter a neutral position. I started entering my positions at uh, 9.30 itself and I started entering heavily at 9.30. So I'll just show you how that I took my positions. Right. So as of now, slowly it took a 40,200 call and put. Uh, almost you can see the prices are close to 300 and uh, if at all market remains sideways, this is going to give excellent profits. Right. So, uh, 40,200 uh, was the level which I took and uh, now coming to the levels, the area at which I am going to take the direction. So, as of now, the swing high and the swing low, you can see I have marked the swing high and the swing low. And this is the premium which I was talking about, close to 300. Okay, so looking into the open interest, uh, Bank Nifty weekly open interest, right? So, the biggest tower I can see is at uh, 40,000. So, 40,000 put has got the highest open interest change in open interest so it will act as a very good resistance so then i am going to mark the same level so present levels uh, which is at 39750 i am just moving it to 40000 and uh, 40000 on the lower side and you can see on the higher side is almost 40347 uh, let me just zoom in a bit okay so you can see lower level is at 40000 and upper level at 40347 almost a 350 points uh, range it's good enough, but it's fair enough, reason being the premiums are almost close to 300, 300 and then going ahead when the premiums reduce, I'll also try to narrow the range as well. This is the overall plan. But usually when you see, uh, when we take our range for the day, it will be close to 100 to 200, but today it is almost close to 340 because this is what market is telling us. It's not that uh, I, sh I am mentally fixed or kind of something kind of thing. The way the market has moved, this is what it is showing us, the range at expected range which Ma Bank Nifty can continue. But apart from that, you can see Bank Nifty is consolidating, uh, close, time was close to 9.40 and Bank Nifty is consolidating. So then I got tempted and started adding more and more positions. Usually I used to wait for some directional view and then take my positions. But now market is moving sideways and there is very good premiums. I felt uh, I got tempted and it added more positions. So let me just uh, show you. Uh, right. Um, uh, so on the higher side, there is no other level. Okay. Only on the lower side, you can see 40,000 uh, put is only a uh, big tower which we are having. Okay. It's very easy when you look into the tower, uh, you'll get very good levels. Yeah. So, as of now, you can see uh, it was only a single lot. And since uh, Bank Nifty was moving sideways, I started adding more and more positions and I started taking a uh, straddle. The new straddle taken is at 40,300 call and put. But um, you can see all entire straddle 40,200 call and 40,300 call. So we started usually, which I used to slowly, slowly add. Now I added abruptly because I don't want to miss the big premiums, but it was a big mistake from my side. Correctly, when I entered, you can see that Bank Nifty has started to give breakout and started moving up. Even if it was staying sideways, it would have been fine for me, but it started moving up. But the biggest culprit is the DK was not happening on the put side. Although cool calls were spiking. Uh, and slippages also were happening, but uh, puts were not decaying. That was the biggest culprit which I had, and uh, my losses started increasing. Okay, uh, so this is the breakout, the exact breakout which happened. 
which was not in my favor i wanted a sideways movement but um, you can see I'll, I'll just show my positions okay this is the breakout which is happening right so i started slowly closing my call positions one by one but you can see already the loss has become 50000 rupees and um, okay so call as of now one leg call is still remaining i have not closed all the call positions because uh, any time market can reverse we need to be aware of that as well but i am completely bullish we can see on the put side i have got heavy quantity of almost close to 1900 okay so going forward let me just uh, show you so as of now the loss is close to 50000 um, the wix is also not increasing the wix is coming down and price is also increasing so it is actually a very good symbol for a directional trade as of now uh, you can see put is also i mean the price movement also is in our favor the wix is also in our favor but in spite of all this also bank nifty uh, premiums were not cooling off on the put side and my losses were increasing continuously and it was not a good side okay let me just uh, show you my positions okay you can see loss is close to 50000 rupees and uh, the put the put premiums are not decaying this was the biggest culprit i had compared to the call i'm talking about okay and calls also the stop loss which are hitting had uh, good amount of slippages as well okay so from now here you, you can see we had continuously again uh, green candles time is close to 945 and we are having continuous green candles but in spite of that you can see my loss is almost gone to uh, 75000 although the calls are less and the put is high still my uh, portfolio losses are increasing it's not decreasing so this is a very good sign that market is not in our favor because market has something else okay uh, so now now is a point time when exactly my fate got decided for today because market was going side uh, continuously up i also was heavy on the calls uh, on the put side calls almost had reduced but then if it was continuing to go from here it would have been very good for me but then market reversed from this level and that added more wound to me it started my position portfolio started bleeding okay uh, close to 950 you can see uh, bank nifty started to reverse from this level and uh, i'll just show you yeah so this is the candle which i'm talking about a big candle again a big movement almost 100 points sudden big candle i was heavily on the put side but this candle which came started coming down my position started bleeding and i could not take it up uh, my losses started increasing so i closed off my positions i squared off my positions with a loss of uh, 1 lakh rupees it is almost 1% of my portfolio and i felt that it was not a good day to fight with the market we are still in the start of the month there are still many more days to go we can even trade tomorrow and make money or might be next expiry we can make money but then we must not lose the uh, risk which we are defined for the day i have defined as 1% might be in the center of the month if i'm already in a good profit depending on my portfolio portfolio i mean my pnl for the month if i'm in good profit i can risk even 1.5 to 2 percent on expiry day but now it is the start of the month there's no need to take such big risk we don't know how this is going to be right so considering all this i closed my positions at one percent but after that i came to know that market was almost sideways and then uh, there was good amount of decay has happened but it was not it was not my cup of tea i did not get that profit it was not mine i can't do anything of it Okay, friends. So that was all about today's trade, and this is how I did my risk management for today. For today, although my plan was correct, everything was going on fine. Somehow, market behavior was not good for us, and I had to book loss for today. Hope you like the video. Any other doubts, any confusion, you can always WhatsApp me. My number is eight zero nine five eight seven six five two five. Thank you, and have a nice.